Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I use IB console and sweeper to, you know, improve my personal workflow when I, whenever I'm working with, uh, you know, medium size or big projects. So to begin with, I'm, I'm not going to talk about sweeper. So sweeper is basically a package that allows you to search through, you know, symbols inside of your buffer, like any symbol that you want to think of or a string for, for that, uh, for that matter. So. Uh, let's say that I wanted to check for every single event, you know, string inside of the buffer. Um, we can see that it actually uh, gives you the, the buffer output in the mini buffer at the bottom of the screen. And in here you can actually look at every single uh, keyword that uh, match inside of the buffer. So it, it's really useful whenever you have, like, uh, not that much of an idea of what uh, you're supposed to be looking for. So, for instance, let's say that I want to check every single time that the event type is being checked inside of uh, the entire buffer. Now, let me open uh, a bigger file for that matter. So, in here, I also have event types that I'm looking for. So, you can see that it, there, there's a key down, key up, uh, files uh, motion, and another key up, key down, and, and that's it, right? So, you, you can see how... The, the bigger the file that you're working on, the, the harder it is to look for, you know, every single thing that, that you need to, you know, maybe, maybe there's a box that you're working around that you need to, to fix or something, right? So that's just about uh, Sweeper. Like, like I said, it's like uh, just, you know, for, for searching inside of the buffer, um, it's really useful. Like, uh, I think it, it has helped me a lot whenever I'm working with, a project that I'm not so comfortable with. So you can connect console to, I think, pretty much uh, anything. For instance, I use it a lot with iMenu, and uh, that that gives you back all of the function definitions in the current uh, buffer. For instance, I have gone to CI, and it gives you back all of the function definitions, whether whether it's uh, you know a void type function and chart, whatever it is, you know, any, any custom thing. So you can navigate a lot faster in that sense. You can also use console to uh, give you a list of the of the project's files. You know, in the previous video, I showed you how to do it with a projectile, and I was using IDU for that matter. But IV is a lot more flexible, or in this case, console, because you can give it multiple uh, symbols or, or strings to look for. And for that sense, let, let's say that, I mean, I have divided into different folders and header and, and source uh, files. So let's say that I have, I want every single file that has a B, an O, and an H in it, right? So it only pops up body.hpp and timepod.hpp. So you can see, um, if you notice, uh, only that there are three different colors and it's matching multiple of those. And let's say that I also want I, but there's no I after the H that it's being matched. So after the O, I want an I, H, and it's only gonna match time bodies. But let's say that something more generic, like R and P, is gonna give you a lot more matches. But again, you can narrow it down, like with a lot more flexibility than something like I do will offer. Now granted, I do, I think it's, it's faster, but for me personally, it's not that noticeable, even with like huge sets of data. Especially since, like I said, because it, it it offers you the opportunity to give it more symbols, it uh, finds things more accurately, in my opinion, at least. So th there's also uh, you, you've noticed that I be, uh, I use something called company mode, which is this uh, this uh, pop-up menu. Sorry, I closed it. Uh, that is, it is a selection from functions, either you have defining header files or inside of your project, you know, whatever. Uh, you can also uh, connect console to company through uh, uh, console company, through the console company function. So you can call it and it's gonna give you all of the, you know, uh, all of the list from the uh, completion uh, thing from, from company mode. and. Again, if, if you're dealing with a huge set of, of data, company is really good, but it is not as flexible because because it's like a, 
it's it's too rigid in that sense. So if you're dealing with a huge code base that you need completion, I mean like a like a more flexible completion mechanism, you can use this. Um, for instance, I, I also use uh, like something uh, from console called console Linux app. I'm bound to you know the dollar sign or also CE, and it allows you to execute X application that you have in like installed. I think it's bound to use your local. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it, but I, I'm pretty sure that are the binaries that you have, uh, you know, described inside of that file. In fact, well, let me see if I can uh, find it. Maybe it's uh, local uh, share applications. No, I don't think that's the one desktop. Right. Maybe these are the ones. No, I'm not. I'm not sure. To be honest, I'll I'll look into it before uploading the video. Now, leave it in the description. But anyways, I, I can you know execute uh, uh, Chromium from here, and it's gonna take a while because of the you know the the V8 engine or whatever from uh, Chromium. Usually, I mean, at startup it takes a lot of time. So just so you know, uh, I'm pretty sure that there is a background service, but you know, there it is. I'm gonna close it because I don't remember what I have. Uh, maybe personal things, I don't remember. So, you know, that that's it for, for console. Like I mentioned, uh, you can use it for finding things. Uh, there's also a git uh, grep thing that you can run with console. So it, it uh, analyzes all of the files in your project and you can give it, um, I believe, a regex uh, expression that, that it can look for. So let's say that you only want stuff that begins uh, with uh, with void, so that you have all the void uh, definitions in, inside of instead of I'm sorry, uh, variables, right? Because you can have like a void pointer to something, uh, and and it, it gives you like I mean it, it takes you to whatever your selection is in in whatever file that it that it found. So again, super useful thing. There's also an interface uh, for FCF if if uh, I'm sorry SZF. Uh, it's also really, really useful uh, if you really like, you know, the behavior of uh, something like like that uh, binary as well. Uh, but anyways, like I said, these are really useful packages whenever you're dealing with uh, with a with a project that you know its code base is some you know getting somewhat big. I do use them all the time and they help me a lot because the code is getting you know bigger and bigger every day. So anyways, if there's a question that you, you have, let me know and I'll, I'll help you out as best as I can. Thanks for watching.